Hi, I'm Kathy Casserly, and I'm the CEO of Creative Commons. I'm delighted to welcome you all to Open Education Week and just to marvel at how thrilled I am that we are here 10 years later at this incredible moment in time and this incredible history in the movement of open education. Creative Commons is part of the tool that, in the engine that powers open educational resources. And Creative Commons is incredibly grateful to be aligned with the mission of open education and the goals of which it's trying to achieve. In many ways, open education and Creative Commons have grown up together in the past 10 years. If we look at kind of the history of open education from its early days in 2002, we've come a long, long way. In the very earliest days, it was just a few projects with a few people and a few institutions who were saying, let's try this and let's see if we can make a difference in the world. And as we all know, MIT was one of the very first, but, but quickly MIT became the Open Courseware Consortium. And we now have over 200 universities across the globe whose faculty and administrators and students believe in the mission of open education and are putting high quality educational materials out to share for the rest of the world. We've had other early leaders like the Community College Consortium for OER and the Teacher Education Sub-Sahara Africa Project. Wikiwise out of the Netherlands now creates amazing tools and adapti adapt adaptivity for students and teachers as they work to share their content and materials. And we all know of Wikipedia, which has adopted the Creative Commons license, which is an incredible uh, top five website in the world where people go to find out about knowledge and um, uh, key messages and information that they need for their lives. And so as we think about the original goals of open education, if we think about where we are now, I think it's good to reflect on two things. One is the early goal was really to democratize education, to make sure that anyone anywhere in this planet had access to the high quality content and the materials could be translated and localized as appropriate. So we've created this incredible supply, this incredible su surplus of educational materials of which now we have demand like crazy and we're trying to figure out how we can drive that pipeline. But beyond just putting out the content and materials, the goal was always to make sure that we could improve teaching and learning so that we could improve productivity and so that we can improve the sector for all of us on this planet. And that's where the challenge for our next decade comes, where we're really going to be able to tighten the, the loop of uh, knowledge gain from what works for what students using open educational resources, using the data collected from the students with respect to those materials, to quickly iterating and improving that content and rapidly putting that content back out into the world so everyone can build on it. And I really see that as our challenge as we move ahead. In many ways, I don't know that we would have ever thought that we'd get to this point, but this is our time. Creative Commons and open education have a moment right now where the world is calling for our resources. And we have the opportunity to step across this bridge and serve a huge community that heretofore could not have been served. So Creative Commons, let me just close by saying we're thrilled to be part of this incredible movement. We're thrilled to be part of this incredible bright future, uh, this amazing community of thoughtful, smart, ambitious, passionate individuals and organizations who believe in the global mission of improving education and learning for the world. Thank you.